Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and welcome to the Cube's preview of Nutanix.next London 2018. Happy to welcome back to the program two friends of the program, Julie O'Brien, who's the Senior Vice President of Corporate Marketing, mm -hmm. and Sunil Podi, who's the Chief Product and Development Officer, both with Nutanix. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, it's great to be here again. All right, so you know, we've been there since day one. I was actually just recently mm -hmm. down at the Fontainebleau in Miami, yeah. reliving the, one of my favorite sets uh, that that we did. It was this, you know, beautiful kind of Miami colors, which mm -hmm. matched the, you know, the, the the bright green and blue of Nutanix uh, with the cube. So, uh, you know, I've been to every single one of them. Uh, yeah. You have the European version, which is the third year. That's right. Uh, we did Vienna, mm -hmm. we did Nice, and, and now London. Mm -hmm. So, so Julie. Uh, you know, start start us in is you know what we can expect this year. Sure, yeah. So uh, we actually just finished our .dot next on tour in APJ in the Americas. We were from uh, Beijing to Boston, over 20,000 registrants and 44 cities. So now we're coming off of that, heading into the conference, uh, which is our multi-day event. Uh, first time being in London for the multi-day conference. We have a great lineup of speakers. So from a main stage perspective, Bear Grylls, who you may be familiar with, um, Man versus Wild. He's a well-known survivalist. I'm sure he'll have tips to connect what we survive every day in technology with what he survives in the wilderness. We're going to have Jane Goodall joining us, so a renowned anthropologist. Um, she's you know, giving back uh, to conservation. Just a phenomenal woman who's going to be on stage with me in a fireside chat. Cannot wait for that. Um, Anna uh, Alex from a startup in Berlin called Outfittery. So we always like to bring in some um, fun, uh, interesting companies from the region. Uh, they're actually using a mashup of AI with their clothing business to figure out how to dress uh, elegant professionals such as yourselves with all of the right uh, clothing items. So she should be a lot of fun. And then I did want to share something really special today. There's breaking news that we haven't shared anywhere else yet on one of our new main stage speakers. So for those of you who are football fans, um, this gentleman was one of the top performing German national football team members when he played, and his name is Michael um, Balak. So he'll be joining us, and we're really excited about that. So for all the Germans out there, hopefully they will be thrilled. We'll do some live juggling. Out on the keynote. <laughs> well, one of the things I always love about the show is customers always want to kind of expand their horizons, mm -hmm. learn new products, get to know what they have, even better help their job, but also expand your mind some. You've yeah. had some great thought leaders on the program. Thank uh, you. I've had the opportunity of interviewing some of them on theCUBE, yeah. which, is, which is great. Authors I've read, yeah. uh, you know, professors that you, that you read mm -hmm. their research, uh, you yeah. know, thought leaders in the space. Uh, it's always fun. Uh, yeah. But the main reason most people go Sunil is to learn about the, the, the solutions that they have, learn about some of the cool new stuff, and you know, you're always well dressed on stage mm. and helping the customers understand kind of where <laughs> things are today and, and, and where they're going. So what, what can they expect uh, for, from you? Yeah, I mean, I think this, this time around, just like prior times, there's going to be a bit of the continuation of the journey, which is what is practical about the company, is that the vision continues to be consistently evolving in the sense that uh, you know we've embarked on this two-part you know rearchitecture of the enterprise cloud and in the first act it was all about converging various silos of infrastructure and we called it the invisible infrastructure era and then we believe and you'll see a lot of this on on dotnext london is that uh, a little bit more light around the reality that we are on the cusp of this you know the world of many clouds so from going from the world of many silos of infrastructure to going to the world of many clouds mm -hmm and uh, a lot more depth of products beyond what we've done in the first <coughs> act around invisible infrastructure transforming to invisible clouds is what's going to be the underpinning of the team there. Yeah, you, you bring up something we've been, we've been watching at a lot of the shows and in our research. Uh, Cloud was supposed to be, uh, many people thought, oh, it's it's going to be simple and it's going to be inexpensive. And uh, what we found is it's often neither of those. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we live in a multi-cloud world, uh, absolutely. Uh, the, the question I have for many users is, well, how did you get there? Was it by choice? Do you have a good plan? Mm -hmm. And who's going to help you get your arms around things? Or have we recreated through multiple clouds and applications everywhere, the silos that we were trying to collapse in our data centers before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think some of this is also going to be, just like we've sort of, uh, you know, in any problem solving, uh, you know, define the problem well is 50% of the solution. So in some cases, in the world of multi-clouds, one of the things that we've sort of had to kind of give it some time, and it's a rite of passage, is to really characterize, when we say multi-cloud, most people think it's just public and private. Mm -hmm. 
right? So it's to char really characterize the problem that the multiple clouds or the multi-cloud era actually is a construct of many public clouds, but the quote-unquote private cloud is becoming increasingly more dispersed or distributed, mm -hmm. right? All the way into the remote office, branch offices, but also all the way into what we're calling the edge, right? Yeah. So, so part of what we're going to be talking about is a pretty reasonable understanding of how we've seen some of our early customers sort of templatize their different kinds of clouds and then overlay the solution to say, look, you know, it's not one size fits all, but you need from an operational perspective at least something that can be a single control plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If you follow the applications and you follow the data, it's become even more dispersed. Yeah. I remember the early days when I first spoke to Diraj, it was, oh, are we taking a bunch of boxes and collapsing it? And what it came down to is the premise is the, the, the challenge of our time is software for distributed architectures. Mm -hmm. And you know, five years ago, we weren't talking about edge computing and IoT mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. things, but you know, that's, that's, yeah. that's following along those trends. Yeah, and I, I think so one of the core technical themes you're going to see is that the last 10 years of cloud has been about the era of scaling out. And that's proven now and there's more to be done. I think to really fulfill this next 10 years, you're going to see this thematic view of scaling in especially when you scale small, which is a different art than scaling out to some extent, right? And especially if you want to solve problems at the edge, you want to do it consistently so that you can actually follow the app as the apps transform, some of these newer architectural paradigms have to be understood. So that's going to be a sort of like an underlying theme there. Yeah, and edge computing I think we know is a really hot topic amongst our customers and this year we're going to have an API accelerator lab. Uh, so in, in New Orleans we had a hackathon. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So this is going to be really focused on giving people an opportunity to get their hands involved in our IoT product uh, along with some uh, nooks as well. So it should be a lot of fun for people. This is a great area and it, it is a great application for that multi-cloud distributed edge kind of environment. Great, so uh, November 27th through 29th in London. We're going to have two days of theCUBE. Of course, go to thecube.net to watch the program. Uh, NextConf has always been the hashtag. I uh, want to give you both uh, just the, the final takeaways, mm. uh, what people should tune into, uh, you know, other than, of course, watching your keynotes and, and the Cube uh, uh, coverage. Yeah, no, I think you'll see a lot on social media. Hopefully, stay involved with all the innovation that we're going to be announcing. Uh, you're going to hear a lot from the breakout sessions. People will be tweeting from those sessions. We have more than 60 breakout sessions across a range of topics for people that are in different phases of their journey with us, whether it's just hyper-converged infrastructure, whether it's blockchain, whether it's IoT, and they're starting to think about the multi-cloud hybrid environment too. So there's going to be a lot of great information coming out of the event, and uh, Sunil? Yeah, no, I add? think uh, you covered it all, but in general, so there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, both people-wise as well as technology-wise. Mm -hmm. But I think the, hopefully the common theme that everybody will participate in is this construct of, you know, this whole Nutanix vibe of dreaming big, acting fast, and having fun. Okay, mm -hmm. well, Julie and Sunil, thank you so much. And also, breaking news, we're actually going to have a first on the program. We've actually got my, my first European co-host for a multi-day event, Yup Piskar, who's a Cube alum, been on a couple of times. And what I'm actually looking for, audience, I'd like to do my first non-English interview on the Cube. So, Yup uh, is fluent in Dutch. Uh, he's going to be taking the train into London. Uh, would love to be able to do a short segment, uh, preferably a user, but uh, we would welcome a thought leader, a mm -hmm. partner, somebody in there uh, to be able to, uh, as, as we've expanded our coverage, we did our you know first Chinese event last year. Uh, we've done many uh, in Europe. We did our first Middle East uh, show in, in Bahrain uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So uh, look for that as, you know, <laughs> like Nutanix, uh, we're, we're all over the globe uh, with what we've done. Mm -hmm. So Julie and Sunil, thank you so much sure. uh, for Stu Miniman. Once again, thank you for watching theCUBE.